Hey there, Sharon Hornells from here. Welcome to day 1978, 1978, the year I graduated from high school. I know, that's how old I am. We're talking about rags to riches today and supersize your business, the idiom rags to riches, as well as we began our tour through the financial goal process. We are at the end of each month this year for the Get Your Goals Annual Challenge talking about seven step process we identified in January that we're applying and we're using and we're practicing all year long to guarantee going forward we get the goals we do one thing every day to move us toward what we want and we get the goals we set for ourselves and so for each life framework area at the end of each month we're going through in detail and this month I decided we're gonna pick our most important financial goal not just any random one a lot of times I'll just demonstrate with a random one but we're gonna pick our most important one and we're gonna take ourselves through the seven step process the last seven days of the month and today's is identifying your most important goal. What is your current story about it? What is your desired story about it? Because that forms the gap that we use the rest of the steps to fill to get us from where we are to where we want to be, right? That's what goal setting is all about, is making sure that we're moving toward what it is that we want. So this year's most important financial goal we're talking about. We also talked about the idiom rags to riches, which I think is a great idiom. It's probably the most common marketing story online or an offline when it comes to building and growing and supersizing a business. Now it's great if you've got an authentic rags to riches story. Most people will start their story in a place when they were uh, not successful in the area or they had the problem that most of their customers have and then they'll tell the story about how they got themselves out of that problem and where they are now and how awesome their life is now. That's probably the most common marketing story out there and why? because it's true, authentic, and effective, right? It's the most effective way to share what it is that you wanna share and to let your, it's called the hero's journey, let your customers have their own hero's journey and learn to love your products and services. So we talked about rags to riches. Horatio Alger wrote 130 best-selling novels using this theme, the kind of the hero's journey poverty, had to work hard and struggle in order to succeed, usually financially. Uh, 130 bucks, I, I, I'm gonna have to look up some of those books and stories and read them, novels, he wrote that many novels. Uh, I'm sure that I'm familiar with some, I'm sure we're all familiar with some of them, but uh, it's a it's a effective, and we all love the underdog story, right? Some of my favorite movies are the story of the underdog. I think of Rudy, I think of um, so many stories and things that uh, affect us in a way because if they move us emotionally remember we make our decisions based on emotion and then we justify them with reason so our seven step process starts today with identifying what it is that you want because how do we get anything we want we talked about this yesterday five steps to get anything you want same thing seven steps to uh, goal process is just adding a little bit more detail into the process for us and our intention this year is to take this process or whatever goal process you choose to use and practice it enough so that it becomes automatic. Install it in our subconscious so when something comes up and we want it, we automatically on a subconscious level start going through the steps and moving toward that thing that we want. Maybe you want a new car. Well, you can apply this process to getting a new car or a different car. Maybe you want a new house. Maybe you want a better job. Maybe you want to have your own business. Maybe you want to supersize your business. Whatever it is for you, anything you want, you can achieve by applying this goal process and applying the five-step process using the SOAP framework, etc. All right, it's a common theme here in case you haven't noticed. That's it. If I can help you in any way, ask. Otherwise, it's Saturday in my neck of the woods, which is a, a fun family day. Have a great day, and I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.